All right, we're back. I'm just munching on a candy bar here. Oh, payday bar. Payday bar. Only we're really a payday. What's up, everyone? Welcome back. We're in the middle of the Leviathan DLC. Got to go back to the Citadel. Got to go back to Bryson's lab and investigate the artifact. Now that we're familiar with the applications of tungsten, we can do that. So we're going into overtime until the deed is done. Whoop. Whoop. Good evening. Percent there's something else floating around here. Hopefully fuel. Very large system. That is not much fuel. We'll take it. Hey, uh, thank you. Thank you, Swoop, for saying so. I, uh, we're overdue for some variety. I don't ever want that to go away. I like it too. But I've always meant to mix it up. So, I think we're overdue for some variety. Hey, Jazz. Jazz is back. He's back. Jazz. Bryson's lab. Never gonna get fixed. <laughs> it's, it's, um, no, but it may come back to life. Kind of a walking dead thing. They're coming to get you, Barbara. That PC will come back to life one day, but it will never be fixed. We need to shield the artifact they've got here right away. Using Garno's data. I should be able to accomplish this without difficulty. Damn thing's been here the whole time. Why weren't we affected? Perhaps the amount of time spent near the artifact is key. After a certain duration, it affords Leviathan an impressive mind control capability. I'd call it dangerous as hell. Bryson's assistant tried to kill me. Perhaps Leviathan was controlling him to protect itself, diverting people away from its trail. Maybe. It just shows we don't know what we're dealing with yet. <laughs> Despite the risk, this artifact remains our only link to finding Leviathan. Perhaps we could find more information about it here in the lab. Agreed. Bryson's team might have turned up something we missed. I'll look around. Search the lab for clues. We're back. <laughs> Snuggles are good, Hadley. even from bots. Do we have an update on his status? Sometimes especially. He is in a vegetative state. The doctors believe it is permanent. But the miners recovered when the artifact was destroyed. Hadley lost consciousness when he attempted to answer our questions about Leviathan. It may have been a deliberate attempt to silence him permanently. Jago. The Vitarian, thank you for the follow and welcome, welcome aboard. Energy emissions test. Artifact P3X118. Eric Hadley, initial test. Artifact test negative for infrared and ultraviolet emissions. No gamma or X ray radiation detected. Follow up tests. Artifact does not react to application of various stimuli. Internal readings inconclusive. No progress in determining age. 
Guess I stayed here all night finding out that this thing isn't really important. Fell asleep at desk. Conclusion, artifact is definitely inert and safe. Recommend keeping it here for reference. We should all be near it. Maybe more useful than Leviathan in long run. Recommend we abandon hunt for Leviathan and seek more productive studies on let's all make love with the artifact. They were testing the artifact for energy emissions and found nothing. Still, I recommend leaving it shielded. Good call. Anything interesting about the artifact's structure? It is not constructed of the same compounds used in standard Reaper technology. Beyond that, nothing of relevance. And what do you think of this thing over here, Edie? Bryson's experiment. <laughs> Hell of an experiment. from Dr. Bryson's daughter, Anne. According to my records, she worked with her father. He warned you. I'm at the dictionary <laughs> in the Pylos Nebula. Project Scarra paid off. I've got another artifact like the one Garneau found. I think it could be affecting people's behavior. You need to shield the one in your office. I tried to warn Garneau, but I can't get through. We've got Reaper scouts coming in toward the main site. <clears throat> I'm heading to the secondary base to grab what research I can. Anne Bryson was attempting to contact Garneau on the asteroid colony. She seems to know something about the artifact. She sounded worried. If Reaper forces were approaching, her concern was warranted. Let's hope we get to her before they do. She said she was in the Pylos Nebula, working for Project Scarab. That cluster contains several systems. I'll call up the nebula on the galaxy map. We may also search the lab for clues to narrow down her location. <laughs> Can't disprove, I'll take what I can get, Chronic. Can you identify this, Edie? It originates with a pre-spaceflight culture, but there are none recorded in the Pylos Nebula. The Reapers. Let's hope we find Anne before they do. Does anything in Anne Bryson's work history suggest where she might be? Nothing relevant. Any idea if Project Scarab involved Element Zero? Unlikely. We may learn more from the Project Requisitions Locker. Any correlation between Project Scarab and these unexplained creature sightings? Not beyond Leviathan itself. Task Force Aurora, current travel requisitions, Project Basilisk. Team leader, Alex Garneau. Transport MSV Kirkwall. Ever caught the little crossover there, Kirkwall. Project Scarab, team leader Ann Bryson, transport MSV Icarus. Hey there, Slugger, what's up? Howdy! Ann Bryson flew out on a ship called the Icarus. Can you track its movements? No. The Reapers have disrupted civilian comm buoys. But we might learn more if we find the ship's specifications. The Icarus. Here we go. The ship has enhanced electrostatic discharge cells. They facilitate long-range FTL travel. So they jumped to the Pylos Nebula by mass relay, then flew to another system. Yes. Otherwise, they would <coughs> charter the less expensive ship. Uh, okay, we can rule out the relay system. Slugger, I'm great, thank you. Glad you're doing well. Uh, Chronic, Scott Lasagna. La 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 lasagna. La 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 the lasagna. We must locate an access card to open it.
Access card for the requisitions locker? Yes. According to records, it was last used by Anne Bryson to obtain equipment for Project Scarab. Based on the search data, it is one of these two systems. Let's see what Anne Bryson requisitioned for Project Scarab. Didn't need an environmental suit. Wind protection gear. Based on what Anne Bryson did or did not requisition, the dig site was arid but habitable. Get me a filter for systems with compatible planets. Based on the data, only one system remains a viable possibility. Good. Let's go get Anne Bryson. Take to heart. You look a bit elder now. Signal confirmed. Ah, uh, Naximenes. You can. You can take it with you. Not, not in a bowling ball bag. Although that would be cool too. A sail is a standard hydrogen helium gas giant. We just don't get to take it yet. We'll get to take it soon. Soon enough! Though gas giants are known for their powerful magnetic fields, a sales field is stronger than current models predict. Within the frost line of its solar system, where gas giants do not usually form, a sail is believed to have once been extrasolar. With no infrastructure to speak of, the Reapers have ignored a sail as a military target. was revisiting uh, an old autocorrect. I was looking through some screen caps and apparently Evasion successful. I was telling a client about my surgery back in March or April or whenever it was. Uh, the surgery was in March. I might have been talking to them afterwards. I told them I had a discectomy and it autocorrected to Disco Tony. So they asked um, if I had a laminectomy, and I told them no, I had a Disco Tony. Here's the Disco Tony. I found something. Standard hydrogen helium gas giant. This is a good one, right? Good one. <clears throat> Bridesmaid to old maid. Oh, no. No. Did your sister forgive you? <laughs> Did she believe you? Anais has more than 80 moons. Shout out to Disco Tony. Signal confirmed. 
I guess it would have been worse if, uh, yeah, if you were, if you were talking about her. An arid but habitable planet. Amakli was briefly colonized by the Pyrena Corporation, a consortium of Asari colonists and socialized Vorcha laborers. After an economic downturn, however, many Asari left the planet and the Vorcha population kept growing to the point where they bred faster than could be educated. You die now! Soon they turned violent and uncontrollable and the colonies essentially self-destructed. Today, Namakli is a wasteland with little population, but Vorcha packs are scattered across the deserts. Settlers frequently run into these packs, discouraging recolonization and the lack of complex biota and scarcity of profitable metals drove the last few proverbial nails into Ma Namakli's coffin. No one has stepped forth in the past few years with the will, the funding, or the firepower to establish a permanent colony. You wonder what the CPT code would be for Disco Tony. Hmm. Uh, just the person to ask. Search successful. Scans have located a close grouping of environmentally shielded habitats and an active power source. Closer examination is required to confirm dig site Anne presence. Dig site. down here um, Kitty was good I liked having incinerate bring James for this one Humidity, not hate humidity. Humidity's ah. Shield recharge delay goes down. Squad mate health and shields goes up twenty percent. Arms master James Vega. Incendiary ammo. Ignite enemies with an intermittent explosion that covers two and a half meters for one. Yeah! Burn it up. We don't need no water. Okay, so we got reports of an attack on some scientists, right? Right. Right. Edie, can you tell us anything else? This is the main site of a series of excavations established under Dr. Garrett Bryson. Staff records confirm the project lead is his daughter, Anne. She has recently uncovered another artifact possibly linked to Leviathan. That discovery must have made this dig site a target. Yes. The attack means the Reapers are one step ahead of us. We need to pick up the pace. And since Bryson's daughter is our only lead, our objective is clear. Cortez? Nothing so far, Commander. If she's down there, she hasn't responded to our hails. Getting some strange signals, though. Give me a minute. The artifact she uncovered may have caused additional complications. Agreed. Take us in closer. Copy that. We have hostile. Take us in. Commander, on the landing platform. That's her. <laughs> Multiple bogeys. Get us over there. Negative, it's too hot. Heading to lower platform. Hang on. There, go. Jump! We're in the shit now, Commander. Yes, we are. Oh, hi. 
Move. Well, then we better move. She loves classic old bow. Thank you for the followers. Welcome. Is Welcome aboard. Here? I'm coming down. No, stay where you are. This is command. You're on late. Direct control. Leviathan demands. Woo, what's up? How's Porter doing? Welcome, Mine's man. Navy. It's too dangerous. We'll come to you. No. Ah! You should take the elevator up on the far side. You gotta finish Leviathan, so I took an We're extra break. Way. I always forget how long it is. Cannibal taking a nap? Oh, he's eating. It's his dinner time. I interrupted his dinner. Sorry about that. Over there. I don't have any ammo types. Okay. No ammo powers. Are broken. Someone try to fix it. You got it. <laughs> James is ah, James man enough. Didn't even have to choose. He just went for it. Save that. that seem to work. I'm raising the bridge now. My man. Banshee commander. Yes. yes, Banshee Edie. Banshee. Gotta be good for something. He's kind of a one trick pony. It's called Carnage. Very good at it. Um, can we just come up? <laughs> what? There we go. And she's so rude. Elevator spotted, Shepard. Got it. And the elevator's blocked. 
up. Is there another way up? I'll override the pod door near you. There's an access point above, Commander, but you'll have to climb to it. Copy that. Still. Doing it now. Guess I wouldn't expect any less. Yeah. Say bye bye. We didn't bring Liara. Doesn't she have something to say about that? It has a Rita. It's illegal in 48 states. Just gotta be upfront about that. Shepard, this looks like a path. Commander, <laughs> Thanks for the insight. We're being cornered. Stay hidden, Doctor. We're trying, but there's too many of them. Hurry. Everything is bloody chunks. Hang in there. Around. Go around. No, no, Boyles, stay down. Oh, God. What's happening? Boyles didn't listen, did he? Like, don't like. Yeah, here. Oh. 
1.04 seconds or 1.24 seconds. I don't think that matters. dead already he tried to run I told him not to but he wanted to help the others where did everyone go I'm sorry they didn't make it doctor I need you to come with me oh god yes of course was at another dig site when they attacked. I got back as quick as I could, but what's happening? Commander. I'm not sure, but it might have something to do with these paintings. Is that Leviathan? Y yes Yes, we think so. It's, it's old, much older than my father thought. And there, as if the natives were under its power. Clearly a reaper, but acting alone. Not like any Reaper we've seen before. Doctor, I understand you found something recently. The artifact. Yes, of course. Incredible. It's just ahead. It may sound strange, but I'm certain it affects people. Their behavior. I've only had a short time to study it. Not strange at all. Did you find anything? Not much, but I did learn something about the energy it generates. Get down! What are they doing? They've activated it. I've never managed anything. Doctor. They've learned to run. The darkness must not be breached. Shepard! Take it out! Done. You okay? Cortez, we have Ann Bryson. Need a pickup. On my way, Commander. Copy that. You see the shuttle? You run. Don't look back. Okay. Yes. Working on it. Come on. Up, Shepard. Up.
Dem's fighting words. You okay? Yeah, Commander. I I think so. I blacked out. Leviathan took control of you. We cut the connection before you got hurt. Leviathan itself? That's incredible. The Reapers seem as interested in it as we are. Yeah, it certainly seems that way. We were hoping you could help us figure out why. But First, Doctor, I have some bad news. Anne, please. Suppose Leviathan's broken away from the other Reapers. Never went back to dark space. Like a rogue, or even a defector. Anne, please. I have to call my father. He'll want to know. Anne, Anne, please. You need to listen to me, okay? Your father is dead. Sorry. He's... What? Dead? He can't be dead. We met with him, hoping to find out what he knew. Something happened. Something happened? You're not the first to lose control. Your father's assistant. One minute he was fine, the next... He drew a gun on your father. I couldn't stop him. I can't believe this. We have to find out what's behind it all. You're the only one who can help us. Anne? I... I, I want to see his office. We'll arrange for transportation and meet you there. Dr. Chakwas. What's unresolved with Dr. Chakwas? Go check in. I like chocolates. Shepard, remember our agreement? We'd open a bottle of Cerise-sized brandy every year, and it's my turn to buy. But it hasn't been a year yet. Yes, well, something tells me we won't have the chance a few months from now, so... Mm. Indulge my impatience. You grab the glasses. I'll open the bottle. Damn, sorry. And Jeff hey. says, Jack... Cheers, Jack I guess. Subject zero. Egg the mic there. Sorry, but it's man to me. I'd like to keep my Admiral Winky. Oh, Shepard. You know, I just realized. You've never called me by my first name. You have a first name, Karen? Well, neither have you. And I never will. Isn't her name Karen? You are Commander Shepard. Hero of the Why Citadel. Why do I have Karen in my Conqueror name? of the Collectors. Savior of the Galaxy. Using your first name just disrespects everyone you're fighting for. Yes, it's, it's all about respect. That's why. <laughs> that makes no sense. Consider it a lady's prerogative, then. Come, let's have a toast. It is Karen, so there it is. What? Yeah, to you. To a woman I'm proud to call my friend. I am lucky to have you with me, Karen. And to you, dear friend. It is my great honor to share this journey with you. Commander Shepard. And good fortune to us all. I've learned my lesson this time. Even a Krogan couldn't match you drink for drink. Because you're telling tall tales. Hostile Wovian. Thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. This unit have a soul. I don't know, Entrobot. That's what we're always wondering. Tell us. Tell us. Cool. Somewhere here. Just 
Slugger. Um, who is Shepherd's girl? The original one. Well, here right now it's Liara. But um, what do you mean by original? Movie in like Dr. Seuss. Seuss through war cartoons, World War II war cartoons. The man from previous Mass Effects. Um. Slugger, I'm a little bit confused. Shepherd, Shepherd is a man or Shepherd is a woman. This is Shepherd. Shepherd's girl is Liara, because that's that's my choice. Hello. Um. So what do you mean? You here? Yes, I'm sorry. Just... This is hard. Of course. You all right? Yes. No. I don't know. <clears throat> My father and I didn't leave things in a great state. An argument? Yes. It was trivial. A disagreement on how to file some of the specimens. I was mad about something else. I don't remember what. And I took it out on him. S so stupid. That's all right. I can come back. No, please. I'm okay. Seeing all this again. He was so obsessed. Crazy sometimes. I didn't get a chance to know him. Oh, sometimes I felt the same way. He was a great man. A pioneer. But he could be distant. I felt like an inconvenience growing up. You sound angry. I was angry. Still I am, I guess. But sometimes, he was so full of stories, he nearly burst. I loved that about him. It's why I signed up for this work. <laughs> I can't believe he's gone. We'll figure this out. We have to. I need to know what's on the other end of that artifact. What he died for. We need your help. You're our last chance. You're right. Let me dig into my father's work to see what I can find. Anne. You sure you're up for this? Yes. When Leviathan took control of me, I remember being somewhere cold and dark. What they say. But my father taught me to never be afraid of the dark. I like the music here. I'm still amazed your father got his hands on a piece of a reaper. He was so excited. Your claims validated years of work. Did you take appropriate steps to prevent indoctrination? Of course. It was completely shielded, and we all had regular psyche valves. But now, thanks to the artifact, I'm indoctrinated anyway, aren't I? Might as well be a Rachni drone waiting for orders from the Queen. You studied the Rachni? I wrote my dissertation on them. My father thought it was a waste of time, but now it might actually help us understand Leviathan. In what way? We think of the Rachni as telepathic, but there's really no such thing. 
At short range, the queen uses pheromones to give orders. At long range, she uses an organic kind of quantum entanglement communicator. Whatever Leviathan does must be similar. Entangling particles to stimulate neural activity. It uses the artifact to establish a connection, and then it controls the mind of anyone near it. Hey, Lola. Need a hand? What brings you down here, James? Saw what happened to Ann back at the dig site. That ain't right. Well, make yourself comfortable. Commander, you see this thing? This is great! <laughs> Ouch! Hey, Edie. The husk bites, they don't turn you into a husk or anything, right? I recommend you apply Metagel. Hey, if nobody claims this thing, we could take it with us. You know, for research or, I don't know, whatever. Told you we could take it. Deliver this to your cabin? Oh, hell yes. All right. Just don't tell anybody. Nice. <laughs> nice. You think Esteban will let me set up bowling pins in the cargo bay? What does that have to do with the price of eggs? We didn't detect any energy emissions from the artifact. But the Reapers were able to use the artifact to trace Leviathan somehow. My theory is that most of the time, the artifact simply acts as a receiver. We'll only be able to trace Leviathan through it when it actively takes control of someone. As it did on the asteroid. Right. Unless it needs something, Leviathan doesn't bother communicating. I guess it and my father had something in common. You said Leviathan's control was similar to a quantum entanglement communicator, which is untraceable. Yes. But this isn't a natural QEC. Leviathan has to send a pulse through the artifact to alter your mind and create the quasi-QEC effect. And that can be traced. Right. Just like at the dig site. The Reapers were tracing the signal by activating the artifact. My father wanted to be at that dig site. He was getting too old for long digs. But he hated being stuck in the lab. He nearly missed my graduation because he was on a dig. Showed up still wearing his field gear. God. He'd have hated dying here. And I know this is hard, but if there's anything more you can tell us... I don't think there's anything more I can tell you. But maybe I can show you. What are you saying? The artifact only sends out a signal when Leviathan's controlling someone. So let it control me. You could trace the signal. You mean let it take you over? That's too dangerous. It's my call, not yours. You said I'm your last chance to find this thing. We have no idea what will happen. If we wait, the Reapers will get to Leviathan first. I'm the only one here who's spent enough time with it to do this. You're looking for something to fight the Reapers, Commander. I'm looking for the monster that murdered my father. We still don't know what we're looking for. Then let's find out. Commander, this thing we're doing with Anne sounds dangerous as hell. <sighs> Noted. Edie? Energy signature locked in. Waiting for activation. <sighs> Slugger, I'm not quite sure what you're asking. Hazcat. I don't think you're answering, Slugger. But it may as well be an answer. That's why I drink. Is that an answer? Is that sure help, about this? Slugger? Yes. I'm sure. The situation, right here. that's okay. why I drink. I'm ready. James, hey got there, the Koala. containment shield. Welcome. Shield is dropped. Artifact online. <clears throat> Anything? Nothing yet. Wait. There's something. I feel a chill. Edie, no trace yet. Holy hell! 
Signal is tracking. Maintain connection. Turn back. The darkness can't be breached. Turn back. Maintain connection. Listen to me. I found you, and the Reapers are right behind me. You have brought them. You, you are, are a threat. threat. So are you. I've seen what you can do. The war needs you. There's no war. There's only the harvest. Edie, do we have enough? Partial lock. Maintain connection to narrow the search. You heard her. We got enough. I'm hitting the shield. Do it. Okay, James, do it. Man. Anne. Anne, are you all right? Yes. I think so. Did we get anything? Yes. But it will take some time to search. Coordinates sent to the Normandy. Good. To start. Commander, I sense something else. Anger. It knows we're getting close. I think it wants to kill you. Come on, let's get you some help. All good, Slugger. Yeah, I ran it through. <laughs> but I'm good. Your translation was better than Google's. Thank you. Too soft, too soft. Remember all the lives that ride on this. So you're saying we should have pushed, huh? Look at that Paragon score. I don't want to sacrifice that. Look at that. Look at that beautiful thing. We just, we just get this little... I'm squishing your head. Squishing your head. <clears throat> and heck of a paragon. That's what's up. Ah, Norin Rad. No. Okay. Gee, anyway, we already know where to go, I imagine. I think we do. I think we do. We know where we're going. There's nothing else down here, right? We, we grabbed everything. Talk to Anne. No, we didn't grab everything. We didn't talk to Anne. Let's not leave yet. Where'd Anne go? Wait a minute. Talk to Anne. Hi, Anne. Looking good. Seriously, you, 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 you seem to have lost some weight. I mean... Damn. Talk about a diet. Well, we had an invisible Garrus earlier, so why not? Why not? All the talky stuff, it's good. It has, yeah, just the right amount of stuff. I always forget how much there is in the middle, though. I mean, we're in overtime because I didn't think about how much there really was. Hmm. We're going to, um... We're going to be busy for the next hour. <laughs> We're already over time, so... Groovy, let's go. Mighty good cloaking. Did get a system, right? Scan for Leviathan. Eggert's Cradle. Despoina. Planet was only spotted recently by human space probes, and no records indicate it has been explored since. 
Scans indicate it is covered in an ocean of liquid water and has a nitrogen-oxygen atmosphere. It's highly likely to have at least some photosynthetic life. Success! Scans reveal a faint trace of Leviathan's energy signature. Closer These examination required. Trace of Leviathan. Aus MG. Thank you for the follow. Welcome aboard. Who's coming down with us here? We've got cannibals and brutes, mostly, and others. Um, I'm sorry, Ash. I'm sorry, Ash. Just um, let's go have a few drinks. We'll see you by the poker table. Liara, my girl. Well, I'm with you there. Some very large cuttlefish shaped creatures. Yeah, that too. Warp is good and up now. Ash seems to have shrunk since part one. Sure. I mean, she's got a lot of plastic parts now. I'm not sure dead. they're What's smaller the though. The probe we launched? Tracking it now, Commander. I've confirmed that Leviathan's signal originates from this planet. Mm. Heard how, uh, Anne helped us locate it. It's pretty spooky stuff. I'm still not sure what we're expecting to find down there. Dr. Bryson classified Leviathan as a Reaper killer. It appears it doesn't wish to be found. It doesn't have a choice. We're here. But then what? If it turns out to be a Reaper, are we really going to offer an alliance? Nobody says we have to be friends with it, but if this thing has the rest of the Reapers worried, then we need its help. Commander, new readings from the probe. It's narrowed down Leviathan's location. You're not gonna like it. Let's hear it. There's nothing but ocean. I show a concentration of structures. <laughs> it's stuck. I'm just trying not to overdo it. Man. Below that. Way below. Underwater. Looks that way. The shuttle should still be able to reach it. It's possible. The Kodiak is spec to nearly a thousand atmospheres, but I've never actually tested that. Guess we're gonna find out. Status! Some kind of pulse hit us! Systems are shutting down! Brace for impact! Okay, here. How's the shuttle, Cortez? Checking now. I'll see if I can get power restored. Copy that. We'll look around. It would seem others have been stranded here as well. We aren't the first to encounter that pulse. Could be Leviathan's last line of defense. Argus. Shuttle pinball. In mini game. Data pad log at and Brooks. The hole will hold, that's what they say. Whatever God watches over Ezo prospectors came through for us. Despite a hell of a smack in the water landing, the MSV Monarch displaces enough air to stay afloat. We're all thankful we're alive. Captain Pratt even ordered the champagne broken out. Helps perspective, I guess. The big puzzle? What downed us in the first place? Kunshin says it wasn't lightning. With some kind of pulse. A directed energy weapon seems likely, but where would it have come from? There's no radio traffic. The whole bloody ocean is silent. 
Tonight the techs are gonna try rerouting the power to get a good mass drop before getting the thrusters firing. If all goes well, we'll be airborne in 24 hours. Our charts. Shepard, it's one of the artifacts. Only if anyone gets out of here. I mean, it was one of the artifacts. Any idea how old these are? The bones are untouched by scavengers. If they rotted clean from humidity and exposure, it might take more than a year. What is this lost? Are we gonna see the smoke monster next? Smoke monster. Shen Kunchen. Data pad log. Attempts to get airborne have failed every time. The damage done by the pulses, if you could call it damage, doesn't make physical sense. The connections aren't fried, but the monarch's thrusters disengage. The distress beacon is likewise dead, but most of our electronics are still functioning. It doesn't seem to be a result of shielding. Without a distress beacon, we've got no chance. I hear bad things about ration supplies, and I think that's why the captain ordered us to collect rainwater and set up tents on the deck. Keeps us busy. Brooks has been talking about using the Triton's weapons to try blast fishing. I agree, but I haven't seen anything that looks like a fish. I wish I were an optimist. Chai Lin. The rations will hold us two days more. Brooks sent a drone to the bottom and it came up with a bioluminescent with bioluminescent plant life. None of it is edible. I warned the crew not to eat it before my tests were done, but Romero and Molins tried it anyways. They haven't stopped vomiting, and their dehydration wastes fresh water. We sent Kunchen's team on a raft over to the wrecks. They came back with spheres, some kind of organic-based alien tech, and nothing to eat. I want to believe they'll give us some answers, but if they had helped the other ships figure out what had happened, they wouldn't be here now, would they? It's getting cold. Captain Abel Pratt. Ramos is our first death. He tried to throw one of the spheres overboard and something happened. Kunchin and maybe three or four others started beating him like madmen. I wish I was quick enough to save him. They show no remorse, not even comprehension. It's clear I'm no longer in control. I held a funeral to keep order. The crew would have been at his body like wild dogs. We compromised. He will be tethered in the water to attract scavenging animals that we will catch for food. If he doesn't get a bite within three of this planet's days, we will cut him loose as a water burial. We've sealed the Tritons off. They're dangerous. Dangerous! Especially given the crew's mental state. Looks like a damaged atlas. Different though, and it's not flying Cerberus colors. It may not be Cerberus technology at all. Regardless, it doesn't work. Look, up there. Nero! Protect the shuttle! Oh, shit. Understood. Understood. Right away. Got it. We're dead. Situation? Swapping out the parts, Commander. Hang on. Escape force. Protect the shuttle against the Reaper with handheld weapons. 
Yo, okay. Great plan, guys. Great plan. Tell me when you wake the fuck up. <laughs> Come up with a real plan. <laughs> oh, good. We got this. My scorpion can take a reaper. Cortez! Almost there, Commander. to spawn next to me you have to do it cuz I'm dead now Thanks. I shouldn't have gone up oh, we haven't had a death most of the day it's been pretty good till now Protect the shuttle. are just you guys are too much yeah. I don't like it when they spawn pop spawn right behind me I mean show them dropping in or something maybe they do they might they might actually show that thank you guys take cover keep cover Cover. Shit, we're dead. <laughs> They're closing in. They're closing in! Nice grenade, Shep. No, no, you're really not. 
You're not, but thanks. usually fight this because I'll tell you what this standoff we're having right now is unexpected this fight is starting to remind me of a certain group of Spartans this is the starship We go hi brute Have you ever been grateful to see a brute before i am been over yet <laughs> the brute is less deadly right now than all these pop spawning crackheads I mean, it's all relative, but... Just so you know, your squad is on it. At least that's what they say. Right, I'm on it. No, 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 no. Don't go, don't go. Get down, get the hell down. Damn. I'm not liking that. Bad odds, bad odds. Mistakes were made, mistakes were made. Yeah, me too! <laughs> Thanks for the heads up on that. Enemy contact! Anyone else have enemy contact? Shit.
goddamn longest shuttle approach ever. We need to talk. Yeah, we need to talk too. What are you trying to tell me I can't aim? Because I already figured that out. Status. Damn. Shuttle's a mess, Commander. That pulse knocked it right out of the air. We're not going anywhere. Why not have the Normandy pick us up? Same thing would happen to her. And the landing won't be as pretty. I'd say Leviathan has some sort of defense system in place. <laughs> yeah, I don't have the hurricane. If only. File that under if only. Then we aren't getting out of here until we find it. So how do we do that? Well, you might be able to use a mech. Looks like it's rigged for diving. A diving mech? It's a Triton model. Military grade. Repurposed just, for deep sea exploration. Just don't think too hard on it. Seawater has a corroded. It should be good to go. Just get in and go. Well, if that's what we have to do, let's get started. Shepard, perhaps you are unaware of the degree of risk. No, no, Are he said it was fine. Proposing? First, we'll need to restore power to get that cargo door open. How? I suppose we are. The guy Cortez wouldn't steer us wrong. Equipped with exterior power sockets. They use them for emergency repairs. We can strip the cells from the shuttle and use those for juice. Hang on, I'll get you started. Got a cell for you, Commander. Find somewhere to plug that in. Take cover, Shepard, of all the times. Another power cell for you, Commander. Here they come. Get another power cell, Shepard. We'll hold them off. Yeah, I, I, I get it. Shepard. Shields back up. Okay, good. We're good. No, that's not how you do it, Shep. Thank you. Whoa, hi. Fuck. Oh! Destroy you! Is this the first or the second? Uh, because we had our heavy weapon. It might be the second. Do I have a power cell? I don't even know if I have a power cell. I think we have a power cell. Excuse me? <laughs> Is that <a> thing? <laughs> Critical mission failure diving suit has been destroyed. I didn't know that was a thing. I've never seen that either. <laughs> Love it. For all this time, I'll take just about anything new.
shit. I shouldn't have gotten up yet. Can you get over it? Shit, go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Wrong one. Fuck you guys with your diving suit has been destroyed. I've never seen this in all the playthroughs we've ever had. Who is destroying the diving suit? We're gonna have to go for the diving suit. Uh, this is, this is, this is new. I'm on at one. I didn't know this was a thing either. And now we gotta deal with it. We gotta, we really gotta deal with it. Okay, you guys, um, you guys deal with the brute. I guess I'm going for the diving suit. Who is killing the diving suit? Shit, I'm dead. Um, diving suit's over there. So who's even doing this? You think it was that guy? You never heard of it either. I mean, it's it's behind the glass. It's uh, they're not they're not going for the diving suit. The Sylvestin? What? Thank you. What the heck? Thank you, thank you. Who, uh, who needs a diving suit? When you have implants, you can do this. Just go! Free diving! Free diving! We're going down. We're going down to chat with Leviathan. It's all good. We got this. Totally. <laughs> thank you! Thank you very much. Can we load a previous save if need be. Yeah. Yeah, if need be. I'm not sure we need to. Let's not give up yet. I'm not giving up yet. Diving suit looks okay. No, 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 we got this, we got this. Get out of here! Frack you! Okay, it's a little iffy, but we got this! Find somewhere to plug that in. Shepard, you won't take cover. Shepard won't get cover. Won't take cover. That's apparently not cover. Oh, and, and there, there's a brute crawled up my ass. There was also that. Watch, there's like one random husk spawned in there. <laughs> it could be. Chronic, it could be. On, um, on the plus side, every time we get a socket, I think every time we get a, get a power cell in a socket, we're getting an auto save. So as weird as this is right now, it's, um, we're not doomed. Not yet. Yeah. We need to hurry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I know we need to hurry. This <laughs> is, it's pretty messed up right now. I got the whole we need to hurry bit. Diving suit. This is really weird. We may have to go back to an earlier save, but I am not giving up yet. I'm gonna Zerg. We're gonna, we're gonna Leroy for the diving suit again. Find somewhere to plug that in. Shit. Who's 
flanked. He's got me flanked. I like it. Don't like it at all. Stop! So messed up on so many levels. Fuck me. Could have stayed in cover a little longer. Could have stayed in cover just a little longer. Oh! Manny! Yes! Manny, definitely! Welcome back. Did any Witcher 3 fans know that the spirit under the tree was... Yes! Most definitely. Alright, we, we got the power to 55. We're getting there. This is the most messed up Leviathan run I have um, experienced. I'm not sure what to make of it, but we're going to get through it. Call this unconventional, huh? Rage! What's up, man? This is the most messed up uh, Leviathan we've ever had. The diving suit keeps getting destroyed. Have you ever seen that, man? Get down, Shep. Shit. Get down, get down, get down. Get down! Stay down! This is so messed up right now, man. Hey. Okay. I'm gonna spam some, um... Jesus. So screwed up! Man! I've, I've never seen this go down where they keep destroying the diving suit. We're having to do this in a very uh, different way. We can't just make our way to a power socket. For some reason, the diving suit keeps getting trashed. Yeah, if we get a second, yeah, when we get a cell, we get an autosave, absolutely. That's, that's one thing we've got going for us. But in all the times I've done this, I've never seen it, um, I've never seen the diving cell, uh, the diving suit destroyed like that. Like this. See, we're not dead. The diving suit has been destroyed. Ah, uh, what the hell? So this is why I keep making these crazy runs for it. Diving suit has been destroyed again! Frack you game! What the hell is going on? Okay, who's up here? Do we have cover? What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Yeah, 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 that's cute. Now, if I can get the cell before dying, then uh, we get an autosave. Get it! Okay! Fuck you! But we gotta save! Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! This is broken with the save you have. Yes, it is, but we're at 80%. I told you we're gonna do this, right? We're gonna do this! I don't care if it's broke. Fuck you! This is we're getting so trolled. This is care trolled.
Have you ever seen anything like this? Eat it! Oh shit, I still need to get in the mech. I screwed up so bad. The mech is there. But I'm not gonna make it. Go, 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 go! Go! Shepard, go! 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 Fuck you! No, no, really! Fuck you all! Eat it! Just eat it! Eat it! Ah! <laughs> Jesus! Die! Get off my girlfriend! You're all gonna die! Oh my god! Where are you, you psycho? Where the hell? He's still alive, isn't he? Yeah, die! That did it. Looks like we're in the clear now. Oh my Commander. god. Good. I need to get in the water before they come back. Roger that. Walk the mech back to me when you're ready to die. I should check it over first. When <laughs> you're ready to die. Yeah, I'm ready to die. All right, Commander. Let's get you out of there, and I'll do a systems check. Shepard, I understand the reasons, but this is a big risk. We've come too far to stop now. The way home is through Leviathan. Okay, seals check out. Oxygen pressure is nominal. Systems are a go. It's as ready as I can make it. Let's go. Thank you again. Shepard. <laughs> I think you died I'll enough. be fine. Oh man. Closing hatch. We earned this one. Engaging systems. Ready. Testing calmly. <laughs> we got trolled so hard. Commencing dive in three, two, one. So far? Copy that. Cortez? Cortez! Not sure if you can read me up there. Looks like I've finished the major descent. Can't see much from here. Suit is holding up. Emergency systems have come online. Life support operational. Always reminds me of the abyss. The movie, the abyss. Scanner indicates the probe is below my position. Right on. And for a way down. Then thank you again. A morale boost in dark times. <clears throat> Shutting down all non critical systems to preserve remaining power. Not sure how much juice the emergency thruster will need to get me back to the surface. Can't worry about that now. Getting some strange readings from the probe. 
Something is definitely down there. Reading the probe directly below me. Looks like the final drop. soft spot for it. Can't see anything just yet. <clears throat> Found the probe. Seems intact. I'm gonna keep moving. Side. I had to find you. This is not your domain. You have breached the darkness. You killed a Reaper. I need to know why. They are the enemy. One that seeks our extermination. But... I thought you were a Reaper. Then what are you? Something more. <coughs> Your mind belongs to me. Breathe. Anne? What's happening? Galaxy's at war with the Reapers. You defeated one. Why aren't you fighting back? There is no war. There is only the harvest. Then help us stop it. None have possessed the strength in past cycles. Your own species could be destroyed with a single thought. But you are different. I have witnessed your actions in this cycle. The destruction of Sovereign. The fall of the Collectors. The Reapers perceive you as a threat, and I must understand why. The pressure? The pressure! Cycles, our kind was the apex of life in the galaxy. The lesser species were in our thrall, serving our needs. We grew more powerful than they would care for. But we could not protect them from themselves. Over time, the species built machines that then destroyed them. Tribute does not flow from a dead race. To solve this problem, we created an intelligence with a mandate to preserve life at any cost. As the intelligence evolved, it studied the development of civilizations. Its understanding grew 
Hawkins and found a solution. In that instant, it betrayed us. It chose our kind as the first harvest. From our essence, the first reaper was created. You call it Harbinger. We're getting more here than we'll ever get out of the ending, so... You built that Listen machine up. despite what you saw the other races experience. Why? You cannot conceive of a galaxy that bends to your will. Every creature, every nation, every planet we discovered became our tools. We were above the concerns of lesser species. The intelligence was envisioned as simply another tool. And now we all pay the price for your mistake. There was no mistake. It still serves its purpose. How did you remain hidden all this time? Our extermination was not complete. Some survived and found refuge in the dark corners of the galaxy. I am their progeny. Over the cycles, the thrall races were controlled. Removing traces of our existence as we directed them to. In this way, our survival was kept secret from the Reapers. Today, we reach out through the fragments and watch for discovery. Fragments? You mean the artifacts we found? They provide a window into the galaxy. Tools for exploring the events of this cycle from the safety of this world. Through them, we watch, we study, and remain in the shadows. How did the intelligence defeat you? To find a solution, it required information. Physical data drawn from organic life in the cosmos. It created an army of pawns that searched the galaxy, gathering this data. There was no warning. No reason given when they turned against us. Only slaughter. Only the harvest. Tell me about the Reapers. Each harvest ends with the birth of a Reaper. Perfect in its design. Each formed in Harbinger's image. Our image. Each Reaper has the power to influence organics. Over countless cycles, this ability was refined, perfected, and gave rise to indoctrination. But what's the point of all these harvests? The intelligence has one purpose. Preservation of life. That purpose is not being fulfilled. It directed the Reapers to create the mass relays to speed the time between cycles to greatest efficiency. The galaxy itself became an experiment. Evolution, its tool. Will it ever end? Unknown. Until the intelligence finds what it's looking for, the harvest will continue. What do you know about the Crucible? We have watched its construction before. It has never been completed. Those who have tried still fell victim to the harvest. Its outcome is unknown. Okay, you made your point. Will you help stop the cycle? I have searched your mind. You are an anomaly, yet that is not enough. Wait! Otter. The cycle will continue. It is. No! You've been watching. You know this cycle is different. Will survive. You will remain here as a servant of our needs. The Reapers will harvest the rest. You release me, no one has to be harvested. Nothing will change. The Reapers know where you are. You can't just watch anymore. You have to fight. Even if you survive the battle today, the Reapers won't stop. Ever. Release me and we have a chance to end this once and for all. is singular. 
I've earned it. Out there fighting, where you should be. It is clear why the Reapers perceive you as a threat. Your victories are more than a product of chance. We will fight, but not for you or any lesser race. We were the first of the Apex race. We will survive, and the Reapers who trespass on this world will understand our power. They will become our slaves. Today, they pay their tribute in blood. You should have stayed in the suit, Chef. Sockham Reapers. If one hits the other just right, it pops up. Shepard, goddess, she's freezing. Are you all right? <coughs> yeah, yeah, I'm fine. Hell of a headache. Don't ever do that again. I've got Ann Bryson on the comm. Good. Put her through. Commander. You feeling better? Yes, thank you. I'm doing fine. What happened? We found it, Ann. We found Leviathan. Was it worth it? I don't know. We proved it can't hide anymore. That it's a part of this war just like us. Sounds like an amazing story. One for the history books. Well, I look forward to hearing all about it. My father would appreciate this, knowing the truth is out there. In the meantime, Admiral Hackett has asked me to join his scientific team. We all have our part to play. I should get to it. Take care, Ann. And thanks for all your help. Shepard out. Shepard out. Commander, Master Force Force Manor just came in over a secure channel. No! We need to more intelligence on the reapers. No! So Our people have been studying it for years you. to come. They're already yeah. calling it the Leviathan Codex. It rewrites galactic history as we know it. Whatever else it means, it tells me the reapers had a beginning. And maybe now we'll provide them with an end. Rock and roll. Soft thank you. 
Thank I guess you it's the for only supporting way. the stream. So like go out that. there and make it happen. This is a big step in the right direction, Shepard. Good work. Thank you, sir. Hack it out. Thank you, Sophiston. Thank you for the sub and support. Woo! I think we're good for the day. Holy cow. Scheduled six, ended up with eight. It was good. I had a lot of fun today, and I hope you did too. Thursday, Thursday, Thirsty Thursday. I should go. We'll bang, okay? Yeah. Badass. Badass even. I want to thank you all for being here today. Sophiston, thank you for your sub. Everyone new here aboard the Starship Chaos. Welcome aboard, and I hope you'll join us again for many more adventures. We're going to be back at it tomorrow. We're going to be back at it tomorrow. Thank you for the host love today. Many awesome streamers in our Entropic family. And uh, let me see if I can filter some of these out here. Get down to the nitty gritty. But uh, thank you for the host, KG. Spartan Lady, Sophiston. But uh, we've got a lot of good streamers here. Rage Mage right there in chat right now. Please check everyone out. Misbehave. We've got so many streamers here. So keep an eye out for them. The hosts come in. Please consider dropping follows. Show everyone some J love. Everyone have a great night. We're going to drop in on... Who are we going to drop in on? Who are we going to drop in on? Yeoman Chambers. We don't, uh, we don't often drop in on Overwatch streams, but we do drop in on Yeoman Chambers sometimes. She's awesome. Excellent streamer. I have not seen her play Overwatch. I guess she's getting hooked. It says she's got the fever. She's a deaf gamer. You won't hear her talking over there, but feel free to uh, to ask her questions. She will respond in chat. Much love to the Entropic family far and wide. Good night, everyone. I will see you tomorrow. We will continue. I think we'll do Omega tomorrow. Maybe we'll get to Citadel on Saturday. We probably won't finish this until Monday. We're going to be playing uh, Witcher on Tuesday and Thursday and starting Hellblade next Friday. Okay, let me drop the link here in chat for... Yeoman Chambers. Good night, everyone. Bid you good night.